Deep in China's remote Qinghai province on Mount Baigong lies a mystery that stumped scientists and sparked wild theories, the Baigong pipes. These aren't ordinary pipes, they're rusty tubes, some thick as your leg, embedded in solid rock, in a place where no civilization with metalworking skills is known to have existed. The story began when American researchers, searching for fossils, stumbled upon a pyramid-shaped hill riddled with caves. Inside, they found metal pipes jutting from the cave walls and floor, some vanishing deep into the mountain. The site looked industrial, but there's no record of ancient industry here. The Kaidam Basin is a harsh high-altitude desert, uninhabited for millennia, with no ruins or cities nearby. So, who or what put these pipes here? Theories range from natural formations to lost civilizations, even extraterrestrial visitors. The pipe's existence challenges our understanding of history and technology. Are they a trick of geology or evidence of something extraordinary? My job is to dig into legends like this, separating fact from fiction. With the Baigong pipes, we have a story that's equal parts science, speculation, and adventure. Let's dive into the evidence and see where it leads. This is one mystery you won't want to miss. At the heart of the mystery is a pyramid-shaped hill on Mount Baigong, rising starkly from the barren landscape. Three caves mark its base, two collapsed, one still accessible. Inside the main cave, the scene is surreal. Two large pipes, one broken to reveal a hollow center, descend from the ceiling into the floor. Their reddish-brown color blends with the rock, but their uniform hollow shape looks artificial. Dozens of smaller pipes, some just centimeters wide, crisscross the cave walls and floor in organized patterns. They seem to be part of the rock, not drilled in later. The effect is eerie, like stumbling into the remains of a lost workshop. There's no sign of tools, pottery, or inscriptions, just these enigmatic pipes. The local government, sensing an opportunity, dubbed the site the E.T. Relics and built roads for tourists. Standing in that cave, it's hard not to let your imagination run wild. The pipes look engineered, but the context is all wrong. No known civilization left any trace here, except these silent tubes. The mystery deepens. Are these the work of nature or something else? The pipe's presence in such an unlikely place is what makes this site so compelling. And so far, the only answer is more questions. The Baigong pipes aren't just in the cave, they're scattered across the landscape. At nearby Tosanhu, a saltwater lake, more pipes jut from the shore and lake bed, some broken, others submerged. Their appearance matches the cave pipes, rusty, tubular, and mysterious. Some stand upright, others lie horizontal as if remnants of a vast, vanished structure. Even the surrounding desert isn't free of them. Fragments are scattered across the sand, sometimes in strange, linear patterns. This suggests the original network was massive, stretching far beyond the hill. The pipe's presence in three distinct settings, the cave, the lake, and the desert, makes a simple explanation elusive. If natural, the process must account for all these locations. If artificial, the scale is staggering. The Baigong pipes aren't just a local oddity, they're a sprawling, unsolved puzzle. Each site adds complexity, making the mystery even harder to crack. The scope is what makes this one of the world's most intriguing enigmas. To solve the mystery, we need to know what the pipes are made of. Early analysis by Chinese scientists found they're mostly iron oxide, rust, with a high percentage of silicon dioxide. That's an unusual mix, not typical of modern alloys. Even stranger, some tests found plant-like material inside, including what looked like tree rings. This fueled debate. Are they fossilized trees? or metal pipes with organic contamination? The pipe's age is another puzzle. Unverified reports claim the surrounding sediment dated to 150,000 years ago, long before known human technology. If true, that would rewrite history. But the dating was on sediment, not the pipes themselves, and hasn't been peer-reviewed. Still, the legend persists, impossibly old, possibly artificial. The composition and rumored age are what keep the debate alive. If they're artificial and that ancient, our understanding of history is incomplete. If natural, they're a geological marvel. Either way, the Baigong pipes defy easy explanation. The simplest explanation? Nature did it. One leading theory. The pipes are fossilized tree roots. Millions of years ago, this area may have been forested. As trees died, Mineral-rich water filled the root cavities, forming iron-rich casts. Over time, the mud became rock encasing these pipes. 
This would explain the hollow, tubular shapes and the presence of plant material. The theory fits much of the evidence, including the branching patterns and organic traces. But critics point out the pipe's uniform diameter and organized layout, unusual for natural roots. Some pipes are much larger than typical tree roots. The density and pattern of the pipes still feel engineered to many observers. Nature can create strange patterns, but the bygone pipes push the limits of what we expect. The fossilized root theory is strong but not airtight. The debate continues natural wonder or something more. For now, nature remains the leading suspect, but the case isn't closed. What if the pipes are exactly what they look like? Artifacts from a forgotten civilization? Some believe the pipes were part of a massive industrial project, built by a culture that vanished 150,000 years ago. The pipe's uniformity and layout suggest advanced engineering. The network could have transported water, air, or fuel, maybe even powered a lost city. If the dating is accurate, this would be the greatest archaeological discovery ever. But there's a problem. No other evidence of such a civilization exists. No tools, pottery, or ruins, just the pipes. Without supporting artifacts, the lost civilization theory is pure speculation. It's a captivating idea but lacks hard proof. The pipe's appearance fuels the fantasy but the facts don't back it up. Until more evidence emerges, mainstream archaeology remains unconvinced. The lost civilization theory is a story, not a solution. The pipes remain an enigma. If not nature or ancient humans, what about aliens? The E.T. Relic's nickname comes from the theory that extraterrestrials built the pipes. Maybe a spaceship crashed or a base was established here leaving behind alien technology. The pipe's odd composition and age are cited as evidence of unearthly origins. Some even suggest the Pyramid Hill is a fossilized spacecraft, with the pipes as its plumbing. The theory explains the anomalies by invoking advanced alien engineering. But there's no direct evidence, no ship, no alien artifacts, nothing that can't be explained by geology. The pipes haven't been proven to be beyond natural processes. The alien theory is fun but it's pure speculation. It's an argument from mystery, not from evidence. While it captures imaginations, it remains folklore, not fact. The bygone pipe's true origin is still up for debate. So, what do scientists actually say? The consensus is clear. The bygone pipes are natural formations. Geologists found the pipes are made of common iron minerals and sandstone with no signs of smelting. Organic matter inside supports the fossilized root theory. The organized patterns match how roots and minerals spread in rock. Known geological processes, like Lisagong rings, can create surprisingly regular shapes. The pipes are a spectacular example of nature's artistry, not ancient engineering. The explosive 150-000 year date is dismissed as unsubstantiated. The rock is likely millions of years old, with the pipes forming long after. No evidence supports lost civilizations or alien visitors. The bygone pipes are a natural wonder, strange but explainable. Science offers a solution but the legend persists. Sometimes nature is the greatest mystery of all. So where does that leave us? Science points to a natural explanation, fossilized roots and mineral concretions. But the bygone pipes remain a magnet for mystery and myth. The lack of a definitive, widely publicized study keeps the legend alive. The site's remoteness and the allure of the unknown fuel speculation the pipes have become a tourist draw, a symbol of curiosity and wonder. Whether natural or not, they inspire awe and imagination. They remind us how easily nature can mimic human handiwork. The bygone pipes challenge us to think critically and question assumptions. They show how mysteries endure, even when science offers answers. In the end, the pipes are a monument to the unknown. They're a story that will echo through the desert for years to come. The legend persists because we all love a great mystery. And until every question is answered, the bygone pipes will remain an enduring enigma.